Hey everyone, in this video, we look at how to combine the combat system and the parkour and climbing system together to utilize the features of both the asset. So here I just have a scene with just the combat system setup. Alright, I have a player and an enemy who can fight each other. Okay, but the parkour is not set up in the scene right now. So if I try to perform a parkour action, you can see that it doesn't work. Right. So in this video, we'll look at how to integrate the parkour and climbing system to the combat system. And we'll create characters that can perform both combat and parkour and climbing. Okay. So in this project, I have combat system, parkour and climbing system, and parkour AI assets installed. So to add Paco to our combat controller, we have to copy the scripts from the Paco controller to the combat controller. Okay. So the easy thing we can do is we can just create a Paco character. So I'll go to tools, Paco and climbing system and create character. And let me just give a model for the character. It doesn't really matter which model we use. We are not going to use this character anyway. We just want to take the scripts from it. Okay. So let me create it. And we have created a Paco controller game object. All right. So this will have a lot of scripts that we need. So if you select the player game object under the Paco controller, from here, we have to copy scripts like Paco controller climb controller and Paco input manager. We have to copy these three scripts. Okay. If you look at the structure of the player from both the Paco and combat controller, you can see that they'll have a lot of things in common. So both of them will have the player controller and locomotion controller script. But in the case of combat, there's a script called combat controller, but that's not there. In case of Paco, instead of that, we have a different script called Paco controller, right? So we have to copy these extra scripts to the combat controller. So let me just move it directly. I'll just drag it and drop it onto the player game object. Okay. Let me also move the climb controller. I guess that was not moved correctly. So let me just log the inspector of this and I'll move it again. So let me just unlock the inspector and check if it was moved correctly. So yeah, we have both the parkour and climb controller script in here. And finally, I'll move the parkour input manager. Okay. So now let me just unlock this. And if you look at the player game object of the combat controller, you can see that these scripts are added all right so next we also have to add the additional animations that we have in the animator controller of the parkour system to the combat system right so basically we have to create an animator controller that has animations from both the system okay so we have a tool with which that can be done easily. So first, let me find the animator controller of the Paco system. So it's called character controller. I'll just make a copy of this and I'll call this Paco and combat controller. Okay, let me just copy that to my folder. And right now, we only have the Paco animations in this controller. So we also have to copy the animations required for combat. Okay. So for that, I'll go to tools and I'll open the merge animator controllers. And the target will be our combined controller. And the source will be the combat controller. So let's find the combat 
controller animator all right it's over here so here we just have to copy it to the source controller the source won't be modified only the target will be modified okay and now if we press merge the extra animations from combat controller will be added to the parkour and combat controller okay we can verify that so yeah you can see there's a new blend tree over here called combat movement so that was added you could also add this manually if you want but we just created a tool to make it easy okay so we have created a new animator controller so we have to assign that controller to our player okay so next we also have to add the parkour and climb controller scripts to our manage scripts list in the player controller so this is what manages all the modules so we just have to know that the parkour and climbing controller was added here so let me just drag and drop the parkour controller and climbing controller to the managed scripts list all right let me also do that for the climbing controller okay so yeah that's all you have to do for the player so now we can just remove our parkour controller and our combat controller here should be able to perform both parkour and combat so i'll just name this as parkour and combat and let me try testing it okay i can try to perform a parkour action and you can see that the parkour system is working fine okay the combat system should also work fine let me try hitting the enemy a few times okay but right now we have only integrated parkour for the player we also have to do the same for the enemy right so let's go ahead and do that so for the enemy we have to add extra scripts for performing parkour just like we did for the player but in the case of enemy we need to add scripts from the parkour ai asset right so we can just create a parkour ai character and copy the scripts from there so let me create character so here for the model i'll just pass the enemy object itself it doesn't matter what model you pass since we're only creating it for getting the scripts and let me hit create okay so we have our Baco AI controller created and now we have to add scripts like AI controller Baco AI climb AI to our enemy okay so let me just lock the inspector and I'll move the AI controller script, Paco AI script, and the climb AI script to the enemy game object. And we also have an AI manager script over here. So you don't have to move that. Instead, you have to attach another script called combat AI manager. So let me just unlock this and if we select enemy. We have added AI controller, Paco AI, and Climb AI. Next, we also have to add another script called Combat AI Manager. Oh, it's actually called AI Combat Manager. Okay. So you have to download the script from the documentation page. It's not included with the Combat System or Paco AI asset because it has dependencies to both the asset. So if we just put it in one asset that will create errors if the other asset is not installed so you can just download it from the description page and attach it directly to the enemy okay so next you also have to change the animator of the enemy so since we already created an animator for the player by merging Paco and combat we can reuse that for the enemy the animator is same for both the player and the enemy so let me just assign that animator 
okay and for the Paco AI to work we also have to set up our environment using a custom NAMIS surface component so we can't use the normal NAMIS surface component so let me just disable that and I'll go to tools Paco AI and I'll select setup NAMIS surface okay so this will create a custom NAMIS surface with few Paco settings and all that and now we just have to hit bake and it will bake links for all the obstacles so that Paco actions can be performed on them all right so we have already covered this in the tutorial for Paco AI asset now if you want to set up things like climbing you have to create links so all those things are covered in the tutorial for Paco AI asset so just watch that again if you don't remember how to set up the Paco AI all right and another thing I want to mention is since we changed the animator controller you might also want to change any override controllers that you have okay so this was an override controller that I used to override the movement of the weapon right over here I have an override controller assigned so if you have such override controllers to override the movement of a weapon, then you also have to change the controller to the new controller. Okay. If you don't have that, just skip this step. All right. So now let's try testing it. And the enemy also should be able to perform Paco actions. Okay. All right, so that is working fine. By the way, there is one setting I forgot to change. So in the AI controller script attached to the enemy, we have to change the follow type to none. Okay, if you don't change this, then the enemy will start following us by default, even if the enemy hasn't seen us. All right, so just make sure to change that to none so yeah this is how you can combine the combat system and the parkour and climbing system to utilize all its features and create a game that has both combat parkour and climbing so i'll stop the video here thanks a lot for watching